I don't normally sense a shift in my limb volume. The only time that I, I run half marathons, so like I know my feet swell. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, so I, I did one in Tokyo, which was a lot of fun. So we, I buy my shoes like a size too large because I don't want to go toe on shoe because they get crushed <laughs> based on my volume as a human moving that far. But for an, a normal person going throughout the day, is the drift throughout the day? Is it over a longer period of time as they're gaining and losing weight? Like help us understand how large of a challenge this is for someone navigating um, a lack of limb. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to sound like a lawyer and say, it depends. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> it depends fine. on the person. So some people experience limb volume change throughout the day. They can change up to like 12% limb volume in one day. Wow. And I'll say something yeah. more relatable in a second. Um, or this change can be gradual over time from like muscle atrophy, right? The muscles kind of degrading as you're not using them anymore, uh, swelling going down, especially after surgery and things like that as, as life goes on. And then just general weight fluctuations. Like I know I've gained and lost weight a lot mm -hmm. in my life that changes how large my limbs are. One way to think about it and the way that they describe it in prosthetics is sock ply ply being thickness of sock. Mm -hmm. And so some people, if you think of a one ply sock, it's like a very thin sock and people will layer socks on to make up for the lost volume so that they can still fit within the socket. And so some people are wearing 10, 15, even wow. 20 ply worth of sock at the end of the day when they only started with a couple or maybe zero. Yeah. So that's the big change is like, think of adding all of these socks as the day goes on. Yeah. It's super debilitating. And they can just uh, perceive that things aren't fitting right. I need to take off this prosthetic. I need to add a sock or take off a sock, stop my life, get it all reset up. And then exactly. And so how does that impact um, folks and their ability to kind of adopt or continue to use the prosthetic limb? Yeah. So I'll tell you two stories. Yeah. Uh, one woman who I spoke with said she would rather suffer than wear socks because they're so frustrating to manage and mm -hmm. to understand. And so if you can imagine what she's doing, she's wearing her prosthetic, but she's feeling a lot of pain. Probably what's happening is her limb is hitting the bottom. As you're saying, your toe hitting the front mm -hmm. of the shoes, her foot or her leg is hitting the bottom of the socket. And so that impact is very painful or potentially it's rubbing in a certain area and creating a blister, which would also be really painful. So for her, she's not going to be wearing the prosthesis as much. 